got it done today. So, um, best friend Tessa came down from Basingstoke and we've got lots done today. So we've got, I'll take you down there. So basically the bottom area here is all now fenced. So if we'll just give you a little bit of a sweeping view. That's all fenced. That's all fenced. We're digging there so for the duck pond to go in. And then the, the fence has got it on as well. And so we've only got this small side here to do. We've done the fence here and then we've just got this side down here still to do. So this is Avery Mitch. So it's really, really small. I think they're half quarter inch boxes. Uh, it's what I put on the quail house when they were getting attacked. So I just put, I'll just give you a close up what it is. Sorry, just fell down a hole. There we go, so that's what it is. And that's all over all of this area. It looks like this. And that's what we've done. So we've done all down here. So, and yeah, we only, she's only got here about, so we came down about two o'clock yesterday. We worked till, till it went dark and then came down about, I think it was about nine to ten o'clock. And this is what we got done. And she's just gone home and it is quarter past three we finished. And that's what we got done. So yeah, really chuffed. So literally just this side to go up here and this bit here to go. But the sun's starting to go down. So finish up soon. We'll just do some finishing bits and then head back to the house. Bye. this morning and we're not sure it seems oh, most of the fish seem to be in there but I found one of the sturgeons over here near the path so it was still alive so I put it back in so we've now um, just basically put some netting over it and temporarily put some pots around it until we can sort out a, a more permanent solution but just so they can't come in steal anymore I have only obviously that one I put back in I haven't seen the other one at all so I don't know whether they have taken that one as well or whether I don't know why this one was just on the floor whether it was I don't know flapping around too much or something I'm not quite sure but um, there seems still seems to be quite a lot of fish in there it seems to be all fine so this is our temporary solution for now just to hopefully give a bit of protection from the heron Nasty little beast. So we've just moved the quails into the winter house. So here they are, just to have a little explore around. Just put some of their scattered breakfast in there for them. They were being a little bit stubborn and wouldn't go into the house. It took us quite a while to um, get them in there. Um, but this is the backup. This is the house with all the stuff in it. Go. And then we had a little person watching us. He's here. This is Tiger. He was watching us do everything and getting in the way. Why do that, man?
unfortunately there's been a delay with our garage doors um, so they're not going to be here until the end of January so I decided to move these little guys uh, sooner rather than later before it gets too chilly they're actually fine with the cold it's more the getting them out of the um, elements and it's funny it's actually just easier for me so the water doesn't freeze up and things like that um, so I've moved them in here as you can see I've made some reinforcements I'll just show you a bit okay so I added the avery mesh which is what I was um, using as a fencing down in the poultry product so I've put this on here because um, tiger and things like that could get their feet through the bars so I've already had issues where unfortunately two of my quails were killed in the igloo at my old house because they could get their feet through the bars unfortunately and um, so I don't want that happening again so and obviously since tiger pretty much lives in here um, at night I just put that on so they're all safe and sound it just gives them a bit of protection from the elements uh, and I've put them right in the back corner so hopefully they will be nicely protected um, I have a little dust bath there little ones so I'm just giving them their scattered breakfast in here and then I'm going to be doing a deep method and a deep litter method so it's going to basically be topping it up rather than cleaning it out and it works as in the, basically everything starts to compost and basically provides a little bit of heat for them. Obviously if there's anything that's wet then we need to remove it because obviously that doesn't work. Um, but anything that's nice and dry will keep them nice and dry and warm. Alright, that's a little update on these little monsters. Oops. They're having a bit of a dust bath, so I'll just quickly just make show you a little bit. So they do this to kind of get all the sand under their under their wings and things. So I, I just add in some glycinaceous earth every so often just to keep on top of any um, parasites they have but there they are they've done absolutely fine in there for the first night I did put a little house a bigger house in there as well in case they all want to get in there at the same time and just give them a bit of protection it doesn't get very windy in here but can, sometimes can get a bit breezy I just thought it would be quite nice that they don't have we can get out of it and they've obviously got the tunnels in here uh, igloo there and tunnels here and their sand bath and the sand which they absolutely love so when you put new sand in there they all get in there and it'll have a bit of a, a free-for-all but this is why I added it because look we're just about to be joined by Tiger yes so he was in here this morning when I came in and he lives next door but he's now got a cat so he pretty much lives in our garage most of the time there you go that's my little update and I just need to go down and just show you that I've finished the fencing and then I'll pop this video up online for you. Okay, so we're down here in the um, menage, which is the going with the poultry paddock. And look, it's all finished. We're going nice and slowly, not making all fit. We're down here, it's done. We're done down here. So much rain the last couple of days. The pond's filling up. Let me show you. Fortunately, some of the gravel got in there, but it'll be fine. But yeah, it's all filling up. All right. Bye. Bye.